Hello YouTube, hello Internet, it's Irix Guy here. I uh, wanted to take a few moments to review a couple of really awesome waterproof cameras. Uh, for starters, here on the right I have a uh, Fujifilm a WP, and it's a Z33 WP is the model. Um, it's, it's a great camera. I've taken a lot of uh, snorkeling videos across the world in salt water. Uh, the video turns out very good quality. Uh, the steel photos are good quality as well. Now it's not just a, a, a camera for use in the water. Works really well with uh, with shots out of the water too. And of course it's got a flash. Um, I'm not a photography expert by any means, but it's it's simple to use. It takes SD card and uh, and then all of the uh, the SD card and the batteries enclosed in here. So it does a good job of keeping the water out haven't had any leaks with this camera yet and one of the advantages to this camera to this Fuji Z33 WP if you're an Apple user like I am it uh, it'll import both the video and photos directly into uh, into the iPhoto program uh, whereas the next camera we're going to uh, go to but before we go to that I wanted to point out this uh, it's called a Chums I got this Chums thing from Amazon for about five bucks, and I put one on each camera, it floats. Uh, so if you drop your camera in the water, it, it should float, and you won't have to dive down and get it. So I highly recommend that. Uh, now the other camera I have here, this is a uh, Panasonic Lumix. Uh, it's a model number Panasonic DMC-TS3. Now what's really cool about this camera is it has an integrated GPS, and that's the only reason I got a second underwater camera. So when you turn this on, it'll calculate your position. So when you're making photos and you're on a trip, come back and plug it into your photo software. And on a map, it'll show exactly where the photo was taken. And that's good if you like to share photos. On a Panoromeo, which links in with Google Earth, and similar services. It just makes it a lot easier than having to uh, look at a map and guess where you were. Uh, this should do it. I think it's about five feet of accuracy. I mean, it's using satellites in orbit. Uh, this camera is has a cool feature here in that the side has a lock, so it it actually locks, and then you've got to open it. So that's that's really nice when you're in the water because it could potentially be easy on other model cameras to inadvertently bump open that enclosure and of course if you did when you were submerged you would uh, you would kill the battery possibly the memory card and, and more than likely the camera would never function again so I like the locking feature on this also one thing that's in incredible about this camera is the video quality uh, it'll do uh, whereas the Fuji over here does really high quality video uh, this camera right here will actually do full HD it'll do 1080p High definition video, so that's that's uh, really incredible quality. Now, I haven't been uh, snorkeling with this one yet, but I am about to go to Bermuda and uh, do a sh do a few shipwrecks there. So uh, when I do, I'll I'll post the uh, uh, the video the video that I take from both this and the other camera on the internet, so everybody can see. Uh, but the still photo quality of this is great. Of course, it it geo tags both the still. Uh, photos and videos uh, as we mentioned earlier and uh, it's it's a really uh, I would say nowadays I would probably go with an underwater ca a waterproof camera that has a GPS if, if you're into that because it's, it's really nice to be able to know where the photos were taken uh, but if not uh, an older model underwater camera might suit your needs as well. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the review. Have a good one.